what's going on everybody and in today's video i'm bring you a guide on samuel i have reached rank 50 with him thank god it's taking forever i'm gonna eventually reach for uh, rank 100 before jill valentine comes out she comes out on the 17th so that's my goal to at least get rank 100 before the 17th and i'll be good so right now i'm going to show you the build i normally run on samuel it changes every so often but this is normally why i run for skill variants and for the equipment but the levels change every couple of games so sometimes i run iron nails level three instead of two and take it off the body armor level two put it on one things like that but for the most part the equipment never changes if that makes sense for skill variants we start off with the fist of irons fervor skill i don't use the immortal version i keep the brute force one, the brute force version gives you increased damage to iron fist and triggers finishers easier. So that means the more finishers, the easier it is to get your iron fist back up. And not only that, you do increased damage with iron fist. The mortar version isn't bad either. It's good, but the finishers are, it's what makes Samuel Samuel, Samuel in my opinion. Also with finishers, they are, in, they have in, invincibility frames. So that means once you're doing a finisher, you can't be interrupted, you can't be damaged. So the more finishers, the easier it, the easier it is to clear hordes of zombies. Also with that, with the finishers, I don't know if people are talking about it, but if another zombie comes in contact with your finisher as it's hitting a the zombie, they take their de uh, initial damage as well. So if you got a horde of zombies in front of you and you can get a finisher with brute force, you don't even have to have Iron Fist active. Just brute force alone gives you the option to get finishers way easier than you normally would. So if they come in contact with you while getting hit with a finisher, they take the damage as well. So you can literally clear like three zombies and one finisher. It's really good. For the personal skill, the dash punch, I do take the recovery version. The, the relentless version is good, but it's not as good as the recovery version because you get the initial health back every time that you do hit a creature or a bioweapon. So no matter what you're hitting with the dash punch, you're going to get recover you also cl uh, clear infections so that means somebody like a net who's constantly trying to poison you or a daniel who's relentlessly swinging at you you can clear the infection just by fighting them off it's really good it gives you survivability plus samuel has no defense he has high one of the highest health outputs in the game and damage but his defense is the lowest out of all characters so you want to try to have as much health and survivability as possible with that for the uh, passive scale the brawler version i keep focus i've tried the blind force version but i don't think it's that great you do le lose your melee weapons way faster than you normally would for a greater output and damage but it's only melee weapons I don't like the fact that it only works on melee weapons. What if you want to use your iron fist? What if you want to use your dash punch? What if you want to use something else? You can't. You It only works with melee weapons. But you also lose them way easier than you normally would. So I don't think that the blunt... This one is not that good in my opinion. I normally go with the focus version. Because you your output to bio cores and creature traps bioweapons is greatly increased and you don't suffer anything at all it's really good in my opinion and for the last skill variant for the adrenaline we keep this one I don't like the surge because it caps out at 30 seconds so after with the surge version after killing an enemy you uh, 
gain what three seconds for a maximum of 30 seconds so that means your iron fist ability is reduced by three seconds for every creature you kill with a maximum of 30 seconds so after 10 creatures you get the max of 30 seconds and his iron fist is on a 120 second cooldown I don't think that's that good because it caps out but on the other hand this version allows you it doesn't cap out at all so as long as you're using a finisher your iron fist is going to be reduced every time so I've I've got my iron fist in a matter of seconds because when I've normally start off in a match I run I don't buy anything out the chest most of my teammates do so I just run off and I'm going killing all the stragglers and all the zombies that I just left out by themselves. and by the time we go to like siege a room together I already have iron fist and I'm I'm ready to just siege the whole entire room because I can trigger finishers I can trigger multi kills way faster than my teammates can so this setup is really good for mowing down like hordes of zombies for equipment like I said the equipment does not change it's usually these these three will never change your le leather handle iron nails and the bulletproof vest that will never change I recently added batting gloves because of the knockback the knockback Sam already has a built-in knockback so I wouldn't recommend running this but I was running it earlier today and I found that with this along with the dash punch you trigger finishers quite often than you normally would it's ridiculous so I'm running batting gloves level one because it's already moderately increased you don't need the greatly increase I feel like that's overkill leather handle you need crit I feel feel like crit is one of the most important things on Samuel because with the lower defense he has and the amount of health he has you want to try to take out zombies quickly so leather handle level one iron nails level two and I do run bulletproof vest level two only because there's no way to give him extra defense so this is my normal setup and I do run this quite often in most of my games yesterday I was running with a party it wasn't even a full party it was just one extra guy and we effectively got 23 wins in a row that's including our team escaping as well I think Samuel is the best one of the best characters in the game because effectively there's not many characters who are frontliners the only other frontliner there is is what's his name I forgot his name already Tyrone Tyrone is the only other frontliner he has the highest defense in the game but Samuel has the highest health so with that being said they're the only two frontliners in this game and you don't want to risk somebody like Valerie or Becca opening the door they they don't have that high defense like these two do so they will effectively die easier you want you want if you don't if you don't have a Samuel if you have Tyrone on your team let him engage if you have Sam on your team let him engage these are the two that have they have the ability to get in and not only get in if they get caught they can easily get out you seen in a montage earlier I was triggering finishers and I was able to use his dash punch ability to evade because his dash punch is kind of unique in a sense it's on a two second cooldown yeah two second cooldown that's the highest cooldown in the game so if you hit something you got two seconds but the unique ability thing about it if you miss there is a there is no cooldown so you saw how it's rapidly dashing across the map as long as you don't target an enemy you can keep dashing it gives you more movement speed than all the other survivors and all of that is you can evade attacks it's really good in my opinion so if you want to get around and 
not waste time use dash punch but it is a linear ability so that means you are locked in an animation and if there is a trap you will step on it so use it with caution well with that being said that's all i really got on samuel couple tips if somebody on your team does open a door and it's not you be ready with a dash punch because the knockback it has it can save a teammate from getting bit lose 15 seconds you gain time he's he's a survivor who is very versatile he can play any side of the field he can't heal other survivors but he can protect them with all means Try your best as Samuel to protect your teammates at all costs. Same thing with Tyrone. He's a protector. These are the only two protectors in the game. So your job is to protect your teammates. Not only that, stage one and two, make sure you're protecting everybody. Stage three, Samuel, your job is to rush cores because he does the most damage to cores. I can effectively clear a bio core in less than seconds. So with that being said, it's gonna conclude this video. I am gonna put up a match of me playing Sam. Don't know which match is gonna be. It might be a good, it might be a bad one. I'm just gonna pick a random match and it will be at the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, let me know what you think. And if you have any tips on Samuel, let me know. I'm not just this guy with him. I don't know everything about him. I'm still learning new things about him every day. Not only him, who he counters, things like that. I'm still learning. See you guys in the next video. And as always, stay safe. Your genes may be adequate, but you do not have the force of will required to survive. Looks like someone needs a bitch slap. Door here. This door. Got my cardio on. Please reconsider. You don't have. Don't fuck with me! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
my shell. area should see to your demise. The best defense is my strong offense!
Stand idly by. Tear you a new one. 